Hello guys, this is Maman Sadiq. Uh, so uh, welcome to my new video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Spring Boot application in console and Notepad++ without using any IDE. So let's start with Notepad++. Here is a Notepad++ and command prompt. Here is command prompt. So we note two things before starting. Uh, before starting writing code, one thing is a package, and second another thing is a file POM file. So we need to create package for our application and POM file for Maven use. For Maven use, so let's start. Here, I am creating package. First of all, we need to create an application directory. So, hello world is an application directory. Here is a source code directory. Here is a main directory. Here is a Java. So whenever we create an application or a Java application, we will do all the source code here. So before doing this, we need to create a POM file in a root directory. Hello world. So let's start to create application form applica form file for our application let's start xml here is created file so let's save it selecting all files desktop where i have Hello world. XML file. So before going to create an application uh, Java dot uh, application file, so we need to know about this POM file. This is a project which is a root element of this file, and uh, uh, these are uh, parameter. These are XML files, and uh, uh, these are things which are telling this XML file about this uh, these this definitions and uh, uh, the functionality of these elements okay this is a model model version it tells about the version of spring okay this is a group id for my uh, for my application and this is the artifact id for my project and this is a version of my project version okay and this this is a parent element parent elements tells us uh, that we are extending the application of a spring boot a spring framework boot okay this is the parent application and all the functionalities like um, handling the route urls would be in a uh, in our application so here we need to add dependencies dependencies for what we are using dependencies for web uh, web and spring boot so we need to write dependencies here so dependencies these are dependencies Th this is a dependency for a spring boot and uh, this is a dependency for a starter web okay so now save it again and now come to command from go to your directory to your project it was a desktop so this was my project so we can check there here what are the thing here here is a POM file and a source code so we need to create a source code for our application 
to write a Java source code here. Before starting, we need to import some packages. Some packages here. A Spring framework. And my uh, class name. I am using example of my class name and uh, we are going to create main method first public static void main here is the main method so save it in, in your package example the Java so I have added these uh, these packages in my application and this is the main method for starting a spring boot so we need to add some of annotations and uh, some of logic for uh, for using my web my, my application so here i am adding annotation for rest controller rest controller tells us uh, tells our application or our class that this is the uh, source uh, this is a controller for rest uh, call and uh, we are enabling auto configuration this tells that this is the main uh, application and we need to start from this okay then we need to start uh, a spring a spring, a spring application not run okay we need to give it two parameters and run method one is a class exists of my main class and another thing is arguments which are passing from command line these are two things that needed this function needed so now we need to uh, do something like uh, like when we had a url we need to uh, get some uh, output for our application so we need to we need to add another method for uh, for, uh, for output uh, get say hello ok say hello return So I am putting here a request mapping and we need to add mapping here request mapping a URL a URL uh, for getting this result I'm using slash like for home URL or uh, we can say that here say hello say hello then it will result uh, it will return us the hello okay so we are starting here we are we, uh, we should compile uh, this code uh, this code and uh, start on our command line so we need to go and command line here we need to start this maven project maven spring boot run if there is a error free of my code it will run uh, run our application so in our browser we can do the for result 
where this is get this is starting here and it will download all dependencies from internet and put in my project so it is started here so we need to we need to now we need to open browser for for getting result of my code say hello the, it is a url for my project here uh, localhost sorry local host 8080 then say hello this is the url uh, to get result say hello this is the output so guys this was uh, this is so interesting uh, project and uh, so easy to use spring boot uh, for your application for your projects so uh, this was a hello world application we will explain in this application in uh, our um, next video tutorials so please subscribe my uh, video channel and uh, my youtube channel i will upload more video more and more videos at my channel thank you so much Bye-bye.